Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are celebrating National Lipstick Day by looking at a brand new limited edition magic lip scrub from Charlotte Tilbury as well as a selection of my favorite neutral and statement lipsticks from five different brands, kind of the ones I reach for all the time. And it is again, just to celebrate National Lipstick Day. This video was not my idea. All the credit goes to the lovely Summer Tweet, a member of our community here. It was Summer Tweet's idea and I am so appreciative. It's a super fun idea, thank you so much. And while we're at it with the shout outs, a little birdie told me that Julie from Quebec, above me in Canada, it is her birthday on National Lipstick Day, July 29th. So, happy uh, early when this video is out. Birthday, Julie. I hope you get lots of lipstick. Yeah, so July 29th is National Lipstick Day. And before you laugh and say, Rebecca, that is the most marketing-driven holiday, holiday, commemorative day I have ever heard of. Yeah, I'll agree with you. However, lipstick has a healing principle to it. And no, I don't just mean with shea butter and such for our lips. I mean our moods, emotional, self-care. There is something about putting on a lipstick even if you have to wear a mask and it's just for you. There is something about wearing a lipstick that can elevate your mood. Um, for a teenager or a teenager who's feeling angsty, think about it. You put on a black lipstick, it gives you power. For a for an adult, male or female, to wear a red lipstick is like, don't mess with me. So there's something about it. We can feel demure. We can feel sweet. We can feel however we want. And lipstick is kind of the leading. Lipstick and nail polish, right, are kind of what we lead with. Um, and I think we should all wear lipstick for ourselves. So even if it's under a mask these days, if your mask mandates are going back into place, I think lipstick has a transformative, uplifting, power. You'll never hear someone stay ruined from their lipstick. You just take it off, but it definitely uplifts. So what I'm going to do is show you five of my favorite brands. We'll talk about them in a minute. And from each, I have picked a neutral and a statement shade that are my absolute favorites. All right, let's start though with this limited edition it's kind of tinier than I thought it would be, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This is the Magic Lip Scrub from Charlotte Tilbury. It's $28 limited edition. It is meant, they propose, of course, for it to be paired with one of the Magic Lip Oils, which come in three shades. And you can even buy it, I'll link it below, in a little bundle with one of the lip shades for um, $64.50 because the lip shades are $40 on their own, which I think is outrageously expensive for what they are. Can I just say Okay, but anyway, we'll pair it with that as well today. So lip scrubs, this one has sugar crystals in it and beeswax and um, cocoa seed butter. This one has olive oil and shea oil and jojoba oil, vitamin E and squalene and, and quite a few things in it. But to be quite honest with you, a lip scrub can really be made on your own. I'm kind of not a make it at home type woman, but you might be, and a lot of people make their own. You can see our lips have a really poor barrier function. The, the, the skin on our lips is kind of similar to that underneath our eyes. And um, if it's really, if your lips get really chapped and kind of rough, it is nice to use one of these. You know, you you can make your own concoction as long as you have something slightly rough, like a sugar or, um, a, or cinnamon paired with something emollient, like an, you know, an oil or a shea butter or a honey maybe even. Um, you know, and our grandmothers used toothbrushes just to gently exfoliate. They say not to exfoliate your lips more, and we're gonna try it here, I'll show you how it works. They say not to do it more than once or twice a week. My goodness, I don't do it more than once or twice every few months. And my lips are really dry, but they have to be pretty chapped to use this. I have read much thought on this from different dermatologists. Some say it's okay to use sparingly if your lips are really rough, and others say that it can cause minute tears, you know, if you're too rough in the lips and make them more dry and more prone to getting chapped. So it's something I wouldn't, this is pretty gentle. I've played with this already. Um, I'll tell you the one I've been using just to give you some options, cause I think this one's a little bit cheaper. Um, this is in the teens is the Frank body original one. Let me show you my Frank body one is coffee scented, which you don't have to ask me twice. It's so delicious. 
it's got really thick crystals and let me see if I can it's well loved as you see and it's got really thick oh some of it fell out there okay that's perfect it's got really thick crystals let me see if I can in this one you really feel it's really thick and it's really a nice lip scrub um, and that one's in the teens I'll link that below at Ulta the new Charlotte Tilbury one is kind of a for those of you who, who are interested in scents it's kind of what I always describe as a tutti frutti scent. It's like a slightly fruity scent. It does dissipate. It is much gentler. The um, the Frank Body one is sugar crystals, and they're like big crystals. You know, like the kind you find on top of cookies. Sorry to just to compare this to cookies, but I will. And these are this one is much finer and gentler. Um, it is a little tiny one. The reason I'm surprised is I'm thinking it was. You guys, it was a long time ago. I kind of date myself by telling you this. Charlotte had another, I can't remember what it was called, but she did have another lip scrub that was out for some time. And it was, if I recall, I decluttered mine, but if I recall, it was a, and I have a photo of it, a slightly bigger, flatter, more like the size of the Frank body. Tell me if you remember it, because I, I believe I remember it being a little bit bigger. So this is her second lip scrub that she has ever come out with, and this one is limited edition. The idea being, when I said sugar, I mean it. If you get this in your mouth, don't lick it off. You could, but if you lick your lips, they're going to be drier. You can't win for losing. But um, you probably could ingest this. It's real. I mean, I don't think it would kill you. It's mostly sugar. Um, don't, don't ingest it, let me just say. I'm like telling people to start eating their lip scrub. Okay, so let's scrub some lips. I did I did a montage for you guys of my favorite lip shades. So my lips are actually kind of feeling it right now. So let's go in here. Kind of a tutti fruity smell, nothing much to see. And I'm just going to show you how it works. This is not a leave-on treatment, believe it or not. You will feel uh, a slightly scratchy particles. And then what you do is you just kind of keep going until you feel that you've smoothed your lips. This is not a very exciting process to watch but basically like that and then just take a nice damp cloth and wipe it right off now this one comes off easier than my beloved frank body because the frank body has bigger thicker crystals um this one is much easier you could almost even leave this on your lips though you are supposed to take it off it's just a treatment and like i said this i would use the frank body if i really need to scrub them like in the winter you know, when your lips get so parched and dry. And I would use this just for intermittent. I, the once or twice a week, I, I think that would be too much for your lips. And let's put on one of the lip oils. Let's put on this kind of berry lip oil from Charlotte Tilbury. Because you are supposed to put a afterwards kind of a protective layer on. So let's go ahead and do that. This is so, so pretty, but I don't know if they're worth the price. But I have... I have viewers who just swear by this lip oil. They would love it at twice the price. They just love it. And it is very, very, very nice. Okay, so that is very treated lips for me because, and you'll see why I needed the treatment, because we are going to get into our true celebration of National Lipstick Day with... Summer tweet when she suggested this, she wanted to know my favorites across brands. So what I did, because you know I had to narrow it down. Like I said, I'm going to fit, pick my favorite neutral and then my favorite statement shade from five different brands. Those brands are Charlotte Tilbury, Lisa Eldred, the new Urban Decay Vice, Tom Ford, and Pat McGrath. I wanted to get some of my liquid lips, those um, dual-sided Chanel's in there, but I really wanted to go for this with actual traditional roll-up bullet lipsticks. Let's keep it to National Lipstick Day. And so, with treated lips, because you'll see why, when you take off and on a lot of lipsticks, your, your lips feel it. With treated lips, I want to treat you to some of my favorites, neutrals and statement lips for National Lipstick Day. And if you're wondering my thoughts and if I recommend this lip scrub, yeah, I do. It's really gentle um, and it will, will last you some time if you use it once every few months. So being limited edition, I do think it's probably worth your purchase, to be honest with you. Just don't use it once or twice a week. You, you shouldn't need it that much. Once, once every other month, once a month, something like that. All right, let's go. I want to show you my favorites, so stay right there.
Well, this has been so much fun. I'm so glad that you guys celebrated National Lipstick Day with me. And remember, though it seems a bit of a, a silly commemorative day, it's not a bad idea to choose your own fun lipstick that maybe is sitting in the corner of your drawer and put it on even with no other makeup. See if it elevates your mood and gives you just a little more of a spring in your step, even, even if you have a mask over it, just wear it for you. This National Lipstick Day, that's this Thursday. See what you get, throw those photos on Instagram of you wearing a crazy or even benign color lipstick and make sure to tag me so I can see you. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope you did. Leave those comments below about what you will be wearing. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.